Welcome to part two of the investment in the stock market. Now, in terms of, we're going to continue with risky investment and good investment. What I would consider to be a risky investment is where a company is going through problems where its CEO departs. And if it's a very good CEO or a strong CEO and it departs, it's more likely going to cause problems. We also have situations where we have poor management. That's a risky investment. If you hear anything about management challenges, then it's not a very good uh, investment um, to, to make. Uh, you don't invest in that company. If there is loss consistently, if they're having several quarters of losses or several years of losses, then you're more likely to have a problem with getting a return. Um, if they're also in a declining sector, if the sector is declining, it's not very good for investing. In terms of good investments, if the balance sheet is strong, which means it's a lot, a lot of cash and low debt. If it has lots of cash and low debt, then you're more likely to get a dividend and um, it will be able to, to manage any shocks. Um, if it is also, um, it's strong with, if there's strong management in terms of, you know, the management is strong and bold, then it's also good to invest. It's also profitable and pays dividends, very, very good to invest. Um, and if it's a growth area. So these are some reasons. So to conclude, we would say appraising a company's product life cycle. We've done that. We've looked at the product life cycle. Um, we know it's in introduction, growth, maturity and decline. And the companies go through various things in these various sections. Um, and then we looked at um, Connecting the concept of Maslow hierarchy of needs, we looked at the various needs, the physiological needs, the safety needs, the self-esteem needs, and the self-actualization needs. We looked at the stock value and the accounting equation, and we know it's assets equal to liabilities plus capital, and we looked at the balance sheet of the two companies. Also, we considered the growth areas and declining areas. You know, technology is growing. Um, declining areas is manufacturing and maturity area I would say is financial services and we have information whether the public has the information the experts have the information or the company has the information and that will dictate how you invest and what's risky and what's a good investment I hope you learn something from this session and I hope that you'll be able to make wise investment in terms of your um, understanding of the stock market and what companies to invest in subscribe and um, look out for the next video. Thank you.